How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, I'm starting off at 3 today, so a little bit late, because I had to run to Harbor Freight to get some tools exchanged and buy a container for coolant, which I naturally left in the back of the car. But we are going to try to get the engine out of the Impreza today, which means I got some people coming over, and but we still got a lot to do on this thing because it still looks like a car. So I'm gonna get everything ready and we're gonna start heading into that. First thing that needs to get done is the front end needs to come off because I don't want to damage anything any more than it already is. And this car already isn't a looker, so let's get into that. figured out there's a little drain plug on the side. Unfortunately, it's comical. It's gonna take months. to drain the oil. Almost there. All right, so engine is stripped, radiator's gone. All the hoses back there are off. I still need to take the connections off of the starter, which I'll probably forget inevitably. The headers are off, which I need to find a place to hide those because there is a cat on them down here. Coming down here, it's gonna be a little hard to see, bear with me. Um, the pipe on the left right here needs to come off so the trans can come out. And then I'm pretty sure this is free. I still need to get the axles out, but um, as you can see, it's starting to get a little, uh, dark out. So I think this is going to end up being a tomorrow problem. This took me a little longer today than I was hoping to get started and working. First thing we decided to do was get the struts off so that we could get to the axles when they were ready to come out. Unfortunately, we did realize later on that we should have waited until the, after the axle nuts were out, but we did remember this for the other side. So live and learn. In a previous video I mentioned when doing axle nuts, if you use a screwdriver method, you should use your least favorite screwdriver. Here's why. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> that means the inside of this is far destroyed as well. You just invented a wrench. Congratulations. <laughs> Now you have to keep it. Yeah, that's a souvenir. Someone's gonna be like, what use would you ever have for this? I mean, it actually can be useful. It gives you more torque than a normal one. Right, it's a, uh, custom Subaru Impressor brake one. <laughs> that's a perfect there. Yeah. Oh my god, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> Oh, oh god! Oh, no, it worked. <laughs> like that. 
Holy shit. I didn't want to resort to that, but then, <laughs> dude, Alex got out of there so quick. I got scared. Scott almost killed me with an axle, but there's an axle out of the car now. We have one side done. Closer to getting this out. Unfortunately, well, I guess fortunately, because I have another gearbox back there, but we figured out that when that came out, it almost bodied me. That no fluid came out. That's PB Blaster, don't worry about it. So, the running theory right now is that there was no fluid in this. So, I, I did wipe this off just for clarity's sake, but I wiped it off to get the grease that I put on it on. There was nothing on it. This gearbox is just toast. Maybe. It's toast. Laundry ride, get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, it's come to this side. Oh, that works. God Wait. damn it. <laughs> <laughs> it's, that's just the best way to get axles out. Yeah, I didn't want to resort to that because Alex said he wanted to reuse these, but you could probably start reusing them anyway. Yeah, they're probably fine, unfortunately. We decided to remove the hood for this part since there was really no reason for it to be in the way. It was just going to get damaged. The only thing that we forgot to do when removing fluids, and I'm gonna be honest with you, it was all me, was the trans fluid. So it just pissed all over the ground. Fortunately, I had the foresight to put a bin under it after it was almost done, but engine gearbox is out. Look how tiny this little guy is. So cute. Uh, yeah, so now we just wait for it to finish pissing and we'll put it on a stand. Actually, while we're doing that, we should assemble the stand. This mount that you see Scott putting on the engine is what we'll be attaching it to the engine stand. This is rated for 750 pounds, which is way over what the EJ actually weighs, but bigger is better in this case. And this will be holding the engine up while I am doing work on it.
she's out. Car's safe. The car's inside. The hood is, uh... Fit. We have, uh, some new performance parts up there that are probably actually gonna rob performance, honestly. New gearbox out in front. Scott's playing with my tripod. We are about done. All I need to do is, you know, the hard parts. But, that is going to effectively end today's video. Thank you to everybody who stopped by to give a hand. Put the tripod down. So, thank you so much for watching, everyone. If you like builds like this, uh, consider sticking around. Go check out another video. Like, subscribe, do that, all that kind of stuff. Leave a comment if you're a returning viewer. Thank you so much. You keep me going. And as always, peace out, everyone.